This is on Drop Rate, a series where I hunt items in Old School RuneScape within their stated rates according to the OSRS wiki. If I get the items within the rates, for example up to 10,000 Lava Dragons for a Visage, I get to keep everything I earn during the grind. If I do not receive it, I have to give away half the loot to you guys, the viewers. With that, let's get into today's episode. Quickly before we get into the video, the Golden Gnome nominations are live right now and if you enjoy my content and want to vote for me in the best new Old School RuneScape content creator of 2022, the link to that is at the top of the description. Thank you all so much for the support over the year and for voting if you decide to do so. Since the Wilderness rework, introducing new versions of Venonatis, Callisto and Vetion, and baby versions of them with Spindle, Arteo and Calvarion, the area has become extremely profitable and riskier as more people are flooding the bosses and the Wilderness as a whole. In this episode of On Drop Rates, we're going for a double feature. We're going to be taking on both Spindle and Venonatis, with the target item being the Tree's Nose Ring from Spindle and the Fangs of Venonatis from Venonatis. So we're going to start off doing Spindle, we're going to be doing up to 716 KC of this boss. I am bringing a very strong setup with the Ursine Chainmates, which I bought for a 33 million price if I remember correctly. So let's get into it. Now if you've asked yourself the question at this point, why does Alone have all these darts in his inventory? Well, the reason to that is because of these spiderlings right here. They always get one shot every single time. And I don't really want to bring Chinchompas to kill them, so I feel like this is a very quick way of dealing with them. And the first kill of the video is going to be... Death Runes. That's pretty decent. Now, to be able to peek into the room and see if someone is actually already killing the boss inside of a world, you need 20 KC, so it's going to be a very nice thing to unlock that when I get to that point. I have to admit, the first trip was absolutely terrible here for some rune knights on the last one, because I am already basically out of supplies, I don't want to wait here until I have like no food left in case a PK would log in. But yeah, 6 kills the first one, oh, the main reason is just I screwed up a lot, I ran into a lot of the webs, and I just have to get better. This is what I mean by the way, if you peek inside of the dungeon, it says you need to kill the boss 10 more times to be able to do that, so I basically just have to enter and hope that no one is in here. If someone is in here, I just world hop. Ooh, that is one of the better drops you can actually get. It's nearly 300k on Xbox tips, I'll definitely take that. That might be one of the main things except the uniques that just stacks up the value of the boss. We have the first peek here, and also on top of that, that is 20 KC now, so I can actually peek inside of the dungeon next time and see if someone is in here, instead of just going in and world hopping. I don't think I'm really too scared of this guy, it doesn't seem like he can do a lot of damage to me. <laughs> Oi, can't reach me, can't run, your sign chain mace is pretty good. Hey, the first elite clue scroll of the grind. This is actually unknown drop rate, but I saw someone who did like 700 KC and he only got one of these, so it has to be pretty rare. Oh my god, oh my god, we got the fangs of Enenatis. We're like, what, 54, 53 kills in? Oh my, let's go. Uh, those are worth quite a lot of money, I think. They're one in 618 drop rate. So actually almost as rare as the ring, but I'll definitely take that. It instantly sold for around 18 million GP, and the price of it is pretty much, yeah, 18.2 million GP very early on as well. Wait, I've been teleported by Best Ham. Is that like an alt account of West Ham or something? In that case, I'm probably dead. And uh, I am definitely dead. This guy was extremely good, so it actually could have been West Ham. After this one right here, we get 100 KC done, which is the first big milestone, I guess, of the grind. We have not seen the treasonous ring just yet, and we have only died one time so far. And this is the loot on the screen right now. Of course, the fangs are not calculated correctly in terms of value, so we made like 22 million at this point. Oh, love the videos. I thought it was going to PK me. Oh, now I feel bad. Oh my god, another one? I've done 132 KC, two fangs of Venonatus. That is incredibly spoon-fed. Oh my god. Let's look at the collection log. Let's go down all the way down here. 136 overall KC, 132 in this video, and we have two fangs already. Let's see what this one sells for. 
instantly sold for 18 million GP. I'll definitely take that. We've already made like 40 million from this. Okay, I've got four elites now. Pretty sure that elites are actually more common than I thought. The guy that only got one probably was very unlucky. Oh, the first Snapdragon drop. That is a 400k. That is a lot of money. It says 420 in the chat as well. Very nice. If we can get a hit in here, that is 200 KC on Spindle. And we have not seen the ring just yet, but we do get some rune knives. I think we found the worst PK. Oh my god! <laughs> He's actually dying. Oh my god, no way. I, he wasn't even rooted. He just stood in the web. 3 million PK! I did nothing! Oh my god, 34 damage. I'm about to die. Dude, what just happened? Oh my god, look at this loot. I got a dragon, crossbow, all of this Arim staff. Dude, I literally did nothing. He just stood in the web and died. Oh my god, dude, I've got so many onyx drops from this. Look at this. A hundred and five. I've got three onyx drops in one single trip. They're one in 35 drop rates, so that was really lucky. One million loot. And there we go, that is 300 KC, and we have not seen anything yet, but uh, the loot is definitely super good from this boss. Would you look at that? The first dragon two-hander. It's one in 358, but not worth a lot. Oh my god! Oh my god! We got the Void Waker gem! Oh my god, this is worth so much! This is 1 in 912. This is so rare, nearly 1 in 1000. More rare than anything else except the pet. Oh my god, look at this collection log. I have everything except for the pet. If I get the pet in this grind, oh my god, this log is crazy. Oh my god, look at this. 55 million insta sold. How much is this actually selling for? 55.3 million GP. Added to the amount of money we made. Oh, we have made over 100 million at this point, which is just insane. From like 300 spindle kills. I just got back to this boss. Dragon pickaxe, the first one of the grind. 3.4 million GP. Same drop rate as the two-handed sword that we got before, but way more valuable. After this one, we have 400 KC done, and the amount of money that we have made from this is now over 100 million GP. I actually think it's higher than that, because the counter is not super accurate with the prices of the items. Probably like 110 mil at this point. No way. No way I had a 39 right there. How much was that? Oh my god, 13 million G- No way, I've never PK'd this much. I think the highest PK I've ever got before was actually the one I got in this video before. 13 million, oh my god. I am so excited to see what this actually is. Let's have a look, and 12.8 million, we got the Toxic Staff, Dragon Crossbow, 1 million GP, Tomo Fire. Uh, yeah, all of this, by the way, I am adding to the potential giveaway if I lose the challenge, so that is quite a nice loot. And we have another death to lick my axe, and uh, wait, where's my light bearer? Wait, uh, first time I died, I protected my light bearer, and why is my Avernic Defender still protected? That makes no sense, I have no idea why that happened. Look at this, in the beginning of the video, if I had all of these items protect item, it moved up, but for some reason it's just not doing it anymore. I have no idea why, but maybe it's bug. If you guys know why this is the case, Please let me know, because I literally had the same thing in the start of the video. The same setup, everything, but now it's just not protected. I guess I'm going to be downscaling my gear a bit. I am bringing a Berserker ring now, and I'm just going to be protecting that, and instead just not bring a Dragon Warhammer, because I really don't want to lose like 6 million GP if I die. Ooh, another Dragon Pickaxe. That is on kill count 592. 3.2 million, I'll take it. And we have another death coming in here. <laughs> Luckily, I am not really risking anything, but yeah, down I go and let's see if we get everything protected. Yeah, we're good. We are getting ridiculously close to the end of this grind. This is now kill number 700 of Spindle for a rune to hand sword. But that means we only have 16 kills left to do until we are on the drop rate for the treasoner's ring and we have not got it yet.
I have been attacked so many times in the past minutes. I get there, I instantly get attacked because look at this. There are so many people on right now. It's the peak time of the game. You know what? I'm just going to go to bed and wake up tomorrow and finish the 10kc. Oh, a good way to start the day. That is the last elite we're probably getting on this grind. Meaning we got 7 overall elites and we only have a couple of more kills to do. The last kills I'm doing is not looking great. 14k coins three times in a row. Oh my god. Four times in a row and we have only one more kill to go. That is ridiculous. And here we go. This is the last kill of the entire spindle grind. 716 KC after this one. Do we get the ring and win the challenge or no? And the answer is no. So let's go ahead and go to a bank and check out the loot. So I've sold everything that I got from Spindle and we ended up with 125 million in cash. And on top of that, we have not yet opened the Elite Clue Scrolls and we have all the loot that I got from the PKers, turning it into nearly 140 million GP. But before we open the leads and decide on the final giveaway amounts, we have 196 Venonatis to do or get the Fangs of Venonatis. Now the major difference with Venonatis is that it is in a multi-combat area, so massive teams can definitely jump on me and just smite me for my plus one, so I'm going to be replacing my Berserker Ring with a Ring of Dueling, just to not really risk anything at all, I'm risking 400k. On top of that, the boss has 850 HP instead of 515, so it takes a bit longer to kill, but not too bad. And we have already started getting PK'd, there seems to be only one guy, but that is what it always seems like. In a few seconds there could be a team that logs in and just completely deletes me. Ah yes, there the second guy is, this is definitely the danger of being here. But on top of that, you also, when you leave the cave, have to run through an additional cave to escape a second time. Luckily, these guys didn't seem that great, so I think we got away. Anyways, the first Venonatus kill is going to be giving me... Oh my god, the best drop near that I could get. Look how much more value these items have from Venonatis. It's the same drops, but they are dropping way more of each item. Oh my god, I think I could have killed him right there. He was so low HP, he wasn't even praying melee as well. I think I can hit like 40 with this mace, so yeah, definitely could have got him there. He's such bad geared as well. 7 HP and I got away, I got the gap on him, that is so lucky. A Salad Robe Warrior, and what level is he even? 97? Maybe I can combo him out here. Let's try to inspect him when he comes. If he even... Oh, there he is. Oh, 29 and 38 from Venonatis. He might actually die. Is he gonna die? Another spec? 4 damage for 15. Can we get some good hits in? Ah, oh, I don't think we can we actually get this guy. This place is just filled with PKers. I just hit 10 kill counts, and I've been attacked an overall of 6 times during that. So, yeah, I'm going to be attacked quite a lot during this grind. And we have another death coming in. That is the first death at Venonatis, but we don't really lose much, so it's all good. Oh my god. <laughs> I got absolutely smoked by that guy, but I got some kills in before the last death, so we're making progress. Oh, we got the Onyx Ball Tip drop. 1.2 million GP. That is a lot of money from Onyx Ball Tips. Despite all the PKs, we are making some nice progress. This is kill count number 50 of Venonatis, and we are going to be getting for the kill Onyx Ball Tips. Let's go. That is a great drop. That timing is impeccable. I just got another Onyx Ball Tip drop. And a whole team logs in, so I'm pretty much dead at this point, but that is so unfortunate. That was like one second after I got the drop. And uh, I'm out of food, so I'm definitely dead here, but I almost got away. I actually wasn't teleblocked, but unfortunately, there was just too many of them. Oh no. No! That is more rare than the Fangs of Ananatis. One in 256 for this. Okay, this time I'm picking this up and running straight away. I'm not giving the PKers another chance. We have secured the bag. Oh, I just left the cave because I got 150 Onyx Ball Tips, and I guess that is being donated to a PKing clan. Ooh, a dragon pickaxe, the first one of the grind. Please no PKing team outside. No, no way! 73 mil- that has gone up in price so much! 
That's like the rarest item you can get from this boss, except for the pet, I think. Oh my god, please do not let me run into a PKing team now. Can I just get out? Please, that is so much money. I think we're good, no PKers in sight. That is so much money. The one that I got from Spindle sold for 55 million, and it seems to be going for nearly 73 million now. Insta sold for 72, and we get, yeah, pretty much 72 million. That is insane. We're getting pretty close to the end. This is kill count 150, so after this, only 46 more kills to go. And uh, I have to say, if I actually lose this, if I lose both Spindle and Venonatis, then this is the biggest giveaway I have ever done in the On Drop Rate series, which is just insane. It's going to be over 100 million GP. Well, guys, we are getting ridiculously close to the end of this grind, and it is not looking great for winning this challenge. We have only eight more KC to go, and yes, I am getting a bit nervous because the giveaway is going to be absolutely ridiculous. And for the final kill of the video, the last Venonatis, and the last hour here has actually been very calm, even though this is the peak time of the game, so I was kind of lucky. And the last kill is going to be... 3 room pickaxes, and uh, that means we lost both of the spider challenges. This is going to be interesting. Now, surprisingly, we did actually not get a single elite clue scroll from Venonatis, but we got 7 from Spindle, so let's go ahead and get these open. All of the loot that I get from these are going straight into the giveaway, so let's see what we get. So the first one is Black DI Chaps, that is a unique item, 200k, 143k. Going through them real quick. Ooh, Musketeers, Tabard. Only 100k, that is like nothing. And we have 73k, and for the last one, 78k. So that was roughly 1 million worth. But here we are at the end of the video with both of the grinds done and both of the challenges lost. Meaning we're giving away half the loot from both of these challenges. And that is a lot of money. We are going to be giving away a grand total of 124 million GP, actually 124.1 million. And if you want to participate, the info is on the screen right now how to do that. And good luck to all of you guys who want to participate. This is the biggest giveaway I've ever done on the series. But with that said, thank you all so much for watching this episode of Undrop Rate. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.